Apple promotes self-publishers, iPod Nano software update, MovieCast for Android, and finally, the Mopi for iPhone 5. It is Wednesday, February 6, 2013, and this is iWake. I'm Tim Chatton, and this is what's going on in the Apple world today. Good morning, everyone, and welcome to another edition of iWeek. So there is some stuff going on in the Apple world today that uh, I think we should talk about. So let's get into it. The first bit of news is out of the iBook store. And as you know, I am an author now, and uh, Apple has started this new section of the iBook store. A spotlight is called Breakout Books, where you discover emerging authors. So the selection here is very slim. Apple is very selective about what books to go in here. And uh, only a few genres are being highlighted right now, but um, this is a very good thing, and I'm very excited to see Apple promoting these self-publishers. And uh, it's, it's it's an exciting space, the publishing world. So um, it's Breakout Books. It's in the iBookstore. Just go to the Rotating Carousel. It will be there. Um, along with this, I thought I'd just mention some of the book projects I'm currently up to. So... As everyone of the show knows, I recently released my very first book entitled iPod Evolution, and I, I spent a whole year working on this, and am very happy with this final product. It's it's a great book that I'm very thrilled with, and I'm I've got all sorts of things I want to add to it. Uh, the bigger the book, the more you want to do to, with it and to it and enhance it. So all of that great stuff is coming out. All these updates to iPod Evolution will be out very soon. Uh, but meanwhile, I wanted to do some smaller book projects that didn't entail me spending a whole year in doing it that way. So um, I'm proud to announce that my second book is going to be out, I believe, sometime in February. I'm very close to finishing this one up. And the reason this book took like no time or virtually uh, very little time for me was... Um, most of the content was written. As I was flying back from Los Angeles, I realized that there was this whole catalog of poems, uh, poetry I wrote for the Poetry Lounge out in Los Angeles uh, during the summer of 2011. So as many of you know, I lived in Los Angeles from uh, March 2011 to uh, uh, March 2012. And during that summer, I got really into poetry and expressing myself that way, and this period of my life is rather remarkable. This is the period where I'd been in L.A. a few months, I'd been homeless most of that time, and you're kind of, you're taken inside in this book, uh, look inside my heart and mind as I'm entrenched in homelessness, I'm entrenched in all these very powerful emotions and conditions of the uh, human uh, spirit, and uh, some very revealing things in these poems. So um, that's to say that I'm very, ex- I, I, I'm a big fan of these works, and I'm really happy to get these out there. So uh, this will be an iBooks author book. Once again, I'm doing video performances alongside the text. I'm also explaining kind of the background of each poem that is in this book. And uh, most exciting is, uh, since it was fairly simple to produce and put together, it's going to be a very low price point. Not sure what that is yet, but uh, stay tuned. Uh, my second book, a book about poet, a book with poems in them, with, uh, with poems in it, with performances in it, is coming out very soon, and um, it's going to be a really polished book. I, I've learned quite a bit since publishing iBook, iPod Evolution, and we'll soon be applying some of the stuff I've been learning in the poetry book towards the iPod book. Um, anyways, just to say, this is going to be a very beautiful book and a very uh, professional-looking book with uh, some great content, I think. So, anyways, sorry I rambled so long there with uh, the self-promotion stuff, but I just wanted to give everyone an update as far as the book end of things and uh, um, with a new book coming out rather soon. Um, so, if, with that said, let's move on to the other stories of the day. And next up is that of the Fitbit. It has been hacked, a very intensive hack, Uh, This is a hack I would not recommend for the faint of heart. Uh, This hack allows you to, uh, basically forces you to not be allowed to use 
your television or other electronics if you haven't met your daily step count. It's a very clever hack, and uh, for now it is a hack. It's not a really easy thing to put together, and I would caution you trying to do this as it looks very detailed and entailed, uh, detailed to try to get this to work. So at any rate, uh, the Fitbit hack is linked to in the show notes and something you might want to look into. Uh, next up, Movie Pass. I am a movie Movie Pass subscriber. This is that service that allows you to uh, pay a monthly subscription fee and go to the theaters once a day and see a movie. Well, they have an Android app now. Uh, prior to this, you'd have to go to your mobile website. Now you can actually go and uh, go uh, to this app, which is available on the Google Play Store, and you're able to use MoviePass. So if you're an Android user, this is definitely a very cool thing. Uh, next up, rather big news uh, from Dell. Uh, Dell goes private in $24.4 billion deal, including a $2 billion loan from Microsoft. So Dell is giving the money back to the shareholders. This is oh so ironic as it was Michael Dell who said to Steve Jobs, why don't you, um, why won't you give the money back to your shareholders and give up? So um, for Dell, this isn't defeat. This is, in fact, them trying to take control of the company and do some innovative things. I'll be curious to see what they're able to do. Um, I'm not going to go into much more than that. Uh, the full details about this story are in the show notes for those that are interested. Uh, last up in the show today is the Mophie Juice Pack. So for those that are fans of Mophie, you'll be very happy to hear that they now have a juice pack. You can now um, outfit your iPhone 5 in a juice pack, a, a battery case. It's called the Helium. It's got a 1,500 milliamp battery, which will increase your iPhone 5's battery life by 80%. It's 13% fit thinner than any of the other Mophie juice packs. And the evolution of these has been rather remarkable. Uh, they started out very thick. I still have my original iPhone Mophie. Very thick case to what is now, you can't even tell a battery's in there kind of case. So it'll be shipping on Valentine's Day for the first color. And the other color will be shipping in early March. These are very subdued colors, silver and black. Um, so very subdued colors. Nothing flash or fancy as of yet. So uh, the, the look here to me is you get the gray if you have the white iPhone and you get the dark darker color if you have the iPhone 5, uh, 5 in black. So that seems to be Mophie's approach and it seems like a good approach. So this will be available for $80 and more details available through the show notes. So that will do this show for today. Thank you for tuning in to today's episode. Show notes available at iwakepodcast.com. My book, iPod Evolution, is out now in the iBookstore, iPodEvolution.com for more information there. And until next time, thank you for tuning in to today's show. And I'll talk to everyone again tomorrow for another edition of iWake. Have a good one.